Clock parts for crafts can be a really big category because you can make a clock out of almost anything. We're going to show you how to make clocks with our American Mini Movement Craft Clock Kits. Today, we're going to use a cast iron pan and make a clock for the kitchen. It's always nice to start by cleaning the pan. First, find the center of the pan by using a compass to draw two arcs. Where the two arcs meet will be our center hole. We then use a center punch to create a little divot right where that spot is so the drill won't move. I'm putting a little light machine oil on that spot. And now we're going to drill a 3 8 inch mounting hole for the quartz clock movement in the cast iron pan. I'm going to use the old pencil and magic marker trick to figure out how thick the cast iron pan is. Put the pencil through the hole, mark it, pull it out, and measure. This pan is about 3 16 of an inch thick, so I'm going to use our mini movement kit number one. That means that you get an American-made mini quartz movement with a short shaft and two pairs of gold hands in the two and four inch range. Gold hands will show up much better on a cast iron pan. There are lots of ways to decorate your new pan clock. The easiest thing would be to install one of our clock dials right in the pan itself. You can also use our adhesive back numbers to mark the passage of time. Now it's time for the clock movement assembly. Place a rubber washer over the hand shaft and slip the hand shaft through the cast iron pan. Before you slide the brass washer over, note how much of the threaded shaft is sticking out. You want to have plenty to attach that brass hex nut. Place the washer on, then place the brass hex nut on and tighten. Don't over tighten. With the back of the movement supported with a block of wood, firmly press the hour hand on at 12 o'clock. Since this is an older style clock, I'm not going to use a second hand, just an hour and minute hand. Don't press on hard enough that the hour hand actually touches the threaded part of the shaft below it. Now, install the minute hand by aligning the two flat sides of the mounting hole with the two flat sides on the minute hand post. A little wiggling may be needed to get the hand all the way on. Install a round little brass nut by carefully threading it on to the top of the minute hand shaft. The assembly is done. Squeeze the hour and minute hands together at the 12 o'clock position. Use the time setting knob on the back of the movement to move the hands to the present time. Proudly hang your new creation in the kitchen and enjoy years of trouble-free, accurate timekeeping. This is Mike Brossman for ClockParts.com. If you have any questions about clock making or clock repair, you can go to the Contact Us section at ClockParts.com and send us an email or even send photos. You can also give us a call at 888-827-2387. Let us know how we can help.